uh, even though there has been an uptick, I think, I mean, I have no, you know, real knowledge about how the how they handle the positive cases, but I feel like nine positives as opposed to like three or three or four in like previous weeks um, probably isn't too unmanageable. I, I think like they've sort of prepared for this type of thing, um, so I don't think it's shutdowns necessary at this point. It's kind of difficult because like we do hold some some end of responsibility and it's just like you know being personally safe and like following the guidelines on your own but at the end of the day like if you throw a bunch of kids in Warren Towers and like there aren't any limits on that like it, like it's sort of the like there's not really much else other kids can do like if if one person on an entire floor is irresponsible then the 20 40 kids on that floor are going to pay for it so in one respect like yeah it's up to the students to be responsible but I feel like this type of thing, when you see more positives, is sort of inevitable based on like the way the university set things up. But I think overall it's been fine. Dean Elmer is doing his best to encourage students to remain safe, uh, to remain uh, careful. Uh, a lot of the steps that they've already taken, I think, have done a lot to mitigate the sort of spread. It's really uh, about, there is a, there's a, a, an element of student accountability in it. You know, people, obviously Halloween has just passed, you know, we're going to Thanksgiving break, a lot of students, you know, may or may not have been careful or will be careful, so that is a little touchy. If we continue to see something like that, I imagine that the school would probably um, first say, okay, we're going to do a lockdown, you only go out for food, that's really what's going to, it's, it's like a mandatory isolation, and if it still gets worse, then I think we can see quarantine from there, or, or just completely shut down the school. In terms of uh, uh, individual steps, I'm not sure how much the school, I'm sure this because the school can always do more, right? But um, I think there is the element of personal responsibility in that. You have to think of people, uh, of everybody else. You know, not a day has gone by where I've wanted, or I haven't wanted to, you know, just say, you know, bump it, let's go out, let's have fun. But at the end of the day, what matters to me are the people that I care about, are my friends. You know, their health is the most important thing to me. Them being around is the most important thing to me. You know, I can take a couple of months off from going out, from doing a bunch of things, as long as it means that I could see them, I could be with them somewhere down the line. If I'm going out and partying, yeah, I get that, like, I get that. I scratched that itch right now, but who's going to come out of that? You know, that, what does that mean for all the people around me? What does that mean for myself? What does that mean for the greater community? You know, you have to think about that a little bit before you decide to just say, screw it and go have a good time.